The story of Useless centers around a girl who's raised by her mom, or single mom, and they're just super tight. They're almost like best friends versus parent-daughter. Right in the very beginning of the movie, the mom dies, tragically. This girl is kind of left to figure out what is life without her mom? What is that like? Someone said to me, if you're gonna write a full script and actually go after something, make sure you do something that will change your life. Tell a story that will change your life in the telling. And for me, that's, that's what I set out to do. It's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story about a girl who's just finding her way through life and it's heartwarming and it's, it's attractive for family members to be able to watch. It's safe for kids. Seeing a character who has just such a great attitude through some of life's hardest issues is something that I don't think we see on the screen very often. Um, and I, I just really loved it. I loved this aspect of a character who is just getting kicked down again and again and just keeps rising up. The chance to make a feature. This is my first feature that I get to produce. I've been on set for other films. This one, my name is attached as a producer. And it's not just a childish dream. It's not just something that I'm wishfully thinking I get to do this, actually. High school sports um, has something wholesome to it, and especially here in Montana. And barrel racing is something that never really gets um, front page news. I think it goes very unnoticed um, in the rodeo world. And also in the film world, there's not a man many movies or anything about barrel racing. Our local community is excited. They want to see this succeed just as much as we do. We're hitting this, you know, all hands on deck. There's a limited crew, there's a limited amount of resources, and actually that's forcing us to be that much more creative. Look, we've got an amazing script, we've got an amazing cast, and this is being shot in our backyard. If you don't know anything about barrel racing, I want you to be super excited about it and get to meet some of these, uh, these rodeo stars um, because they're our neighbors. It just makes me so excited. I feel like when we watch this final product on a screen, at a premiere, I just can't wait to hear people's response. I can't wait to hear them say, wow, that really touched me, or, or wow, it was such an enjoyable watch. And that happened here in the Flathead Valley. I think it's just gonna be so great, I can't wait. Last September, I approached some friends with a log line. It was just one line that described a movie, and here we are basically a month away from going into production. It's crazy to me, it is so crazy to me, and I know that none of that could happen if it wasn't for what in my personal belief is God's involvement. And I see God's involvement all across this movie. It is no joke and it is just kind of non-stop. What's crazy about this is that it really is God's movie and, and I think he's behind it 100% and so if that's the case then I think it's going to be really special.